In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a video for your very own Shopify online store. This way, a video will appear to the customer just like this. Then, it directs them to your dedicated online store. This code is available to you for free. I upload daily videos explaining Shopify, so like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any inquiries, please leave them in a comment. The initial step is to navigate to the online store. Next, we'll click on these three dots. Afterward, we'll select Edit Code. From there, we'll open the Explorer in this manner. Finally, we'll choose the Sections folder. You'll find the code here in the video description. We'll start by copying the code's name from here, or you can type it yourself. Right-click on the Sections folder here and select Add a new file. Then, type the code's name here like this. Then, press Enter. This page will open where we'll paste the code. We'll start by selecting the entire code, all of it. Then, we'll copy the code and paste it entirely in this area. After that, we'll click on Save. Now, we will proceed to customize and open it in a brand new tab, just like so. And from here in the template, we'll choose a section and search for Video Intro. This is the section we added. We'll select it. And here, all the settings for the section will open up for us. At first, we have the video settings. We have the video for the computer or laptop. When someone opens the store from a computer, this video will appear at another different video. If you want it to appear for someone opening from a mobile, and this is optional, you can also add any background sound here. And here you can set the video to fill the screen. I recommend you upload the video to Shopify and make sure the video is no longer than 5 seconds. You are able to upload the video by coming here to the store homepage. Choose content, then select files, and now you can upload the video here. For example, I'll use the same video we're explaining. The video is on the desktop, and this is the mobile video. I'll start uploading them here. Next, we will copy the video link by clicking here, then paste it into this area. We'll then select the video, and finally copy the mobile video link just like this. And here, you're able to add any background audio so it plays in the background. Next, we have the option here for autoplay, so the video plays automatically. Alternatively, you can enable a feature called click to play. This means the user has to click on the video for it to start playing or click on the intro. Following that, you'll find certain audio settings available if you've incorporated sound. And here we find the settings for the skip button that appears above the video, just like this. Here you can alter the text within it, modify its colors, and adjust the size settings. Next, there's a very important setting that will allow the video to be skipped if the client's internet connection is slower than a speed you can personally select. For example, 1.5 megabytes per second. Thus, you have the ability to personally adjust all the video settings. And I have a very important setting, which is to ensure the video plays just once per customer, rather than playing each time that customer enters the e-commerce platform. Of course, the best option is once per customer, but you can choose every time as you prefer. After that, click on Save. Now, it will be automatic. Here, the video or intro will appear. If a customer clicks on it, the intro will play, and then they'll be redirected to the e-commerce platform. Let's open the e-commerce platform now, and the intro will start to show up. Since we haven't enabled automatic playback, we'll need to click here to start it. The intro will then play, leading us directly to the e-commerce platform. This is what the intro will look like on a mobile device.